Hey, it's Angela from the blog Angela Marie Made. I'm excited to share how to install vertical shiplap. We're currently in the process of renovating our guest bathroom and I knew I wanted to add a vertical shiplap to the walls to add character and charm to the space. We just added the vertical shiplap wings coating about halfway up the wall, but you can also do it all the way up the wall to the ceiling if you prefer. To save money, we chose to do faux shiplap boards using plywood instead of using real shiplap boards like we did on our shiplap ceiling, which are more expensive. We used two sheets of premium formaldehyde-free plywood, which cost us about $60. I'll link the exact boards we used below this video. The total cost of this wall treatment, including the plywood, baseboards, and the trim was about $120. So it was a really great upgrade for a budget-friendly cost. Okay, let's get started. You can get a full material list and tutorial on my blog, which is linked below this video in the description box. Step one is to cut the plywood to size for the vertical shiplap boards. First, determine how high up you want your vertical shiplap wall to be, or if you want to do a full wall and then determine what size you want the vertical shiplap boards to be. We wanted to do our vertical shiplap a little bit lower than halfway up the wall at 39 and a half inches to avoid light switches and outlets. So that meant our vertical shiplap boards should be 36 inches tall, which is 39 and a half inches less three and a half inches, which is the width of our one by four trim board. However, we ended up cutting our boards to 35 inches tall since our 5 inch base boards would cover the bottom of the boards and our cuts didn't have to be perfect. We had our plywood cut at the Home Improvement Store. You can also use a table saw or circular saw and straight edge guide to make the rope cuts. We used our corner sander to sand the edges of the ripped boards since plywood has rough edges. Then we used a miter saw to cut the 4.5 inch wide plywood strips into 35 inch tall boards. Also, after each miter saw cut, I quickly hand sanded the cut edges. Note, with 4.5 inch wide boards at 35 inches tall, we were able to get 25 vertical shiplap boards from one 4 foot by 8 foot sheet of plywood. To remove the existing baseboard, Score the top and corner caulk lines with a utility knife. Then use a pry bar and a hammer to remove the baseboard from the wall. Because the plywood we are using for our shiplap is only a quarter inch thick, you can add the shiplap boards flush with your existing molding, or you can also replace your baseboard. We decided to replace our baseboard with a taller baseboard with a more classic look. If you are doing a vertical shiplap half wall like us, begin by attaching the 1x4 trim board to the wall. Use a tape measure and mark 39 and a half inches or your desired height up from the floor and draw a line at that mark using a level. Then using a miter saw, cut a 1x4 board to size for the length of the wall and install it at that line. Install the 1x4 with 2 inch brad nails into the wall studs. If you are unable to hit enough wall studs like us, you can use liquid nails and 1 and a quarter inch brad nails instead to secure the board to the wall. Note, for our corners, we used a 45 degree bevel cut for the one by four ends. Attach the first vertical shiplap board to the wall with the top of the board lined up under the 1x4 trim. Use liquid nails and 1 inch brad nails to attach the vertical shiplap boards to the wall. Also, it's best to start in a corner that will be the most visible since the last board on the wall will most likely need to be cut to size and won't be a full width board. Since there will be small gaps between each vertical board, Use a paintbrush and paint the gap area between the boards with the same color paint that you will use on your vertical shiplap. This really helps to save time and effort with painting instead of trying to get in between the gaps after your boards are all installed. Between each board, use spacers between the boards to leave a small gap, which provides that shiplap look. We use nickels, but anything with a similar thickness works. 
Attach the next board to the wall the same way as the first board and continue this process until you get to the end of the wall. When you get to the end of the wall, you will most likely need to cut the width of the last board to size. Measure the remaining space left and subtract a sixteenth of an inch for the nickel gap to get to the width needed for the last board. We used our draw malt with a 1x2 board as a straight edge guide to cut our board to the width needed. You can also use a table saw or jigsaw. Continue installing the shiplap boards on the remaining walls. At some point you may need to make a special cut for something like a wall outlet, pipe hole, or light switch. Measure a marker on your board where you need to cut it for the special cut. Use a Dremel, jigsaw, or drill to make the special cut. After the shiplap is installed, install your new baseboards if you didn't keep your old ones. We installed our new baseboards over the vertical shiplap boards. After the shiplap and baseboards are installed, prepare for paint by filling in all the nail holes with a lightweight spackle. Once the speckle has dried, lightly sand it. Then caulk all seams and corners needed with a paintable caulk. The last step is to prime and paint. Prime any boards with raw wood that didn't come pre-primed. Finally, paint the vertical shiplap trim and baseboards. We used Sherwin-Williams Mindful Gray and Eggshell for our paint color. I love the final look of our vertical shiplap walls. It adds so much character and charm to the space. Let me know if you have any questions below this video and make sure to subscribe because I will be sharing our final bathroom makeover reveal soon. Thanks for watching.